Welcome back to part five of the Atlantean series. We're going to continue with the last questions about the Tonga explosion that caused a huge reduction of population of humanity. We again still have Abby Dagnis. Description box below has all her, of her information so you can contact her and find out more about her. And of course, we have Eric and Mark Yule. Also, the Atlantean spokesperson. Hopefully, he's still here. So, we will continue with these questions. Now, in part four, we talked about a bunker that, you know, two people entered. People, probably reptilians slash aliens. I, I don't know. Uh, Atlanteans. Uh, and they also died. And uh, you guys said that the bunker imploded. It's not no longer intact. Are we allowed by the powers, powers that be to discover and send a robot down to this bunker first of all where is it is it on is the are the remnants where are the remnants of this bunker so this bunker that we keep referring to it doesn't it imploded like there was an area that was kind of like a airtight bubble-ish area that mm -hmm. had a ufo in it from when uh the Pleiadians like had originally come down that there was there was this original UFO in it yeah. um it this this doesn't exist anymore it 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 imploded I mean it was totally gone where was it when it imploded what what part of the globe okay so I'm seeing over okay so the region between Eastern Africa and south of Italy, like that whole region. Okay. There. Okay. Um, that part of the ocean. Okay. okay. <laughs> That's good enough. Yeah. So, I, over, I, over what percentage of the human race was still alive after the explosion? What percent of the humans? There was so much that happened because of this. I mean, it was just like, mm -hmm volcanic eruption that okay that's one giant volcanic eruption just created this giant tsunami and then there were that ended up also because of the earth it shook the whole like yeah. earth surface right and and then because of the slight polar shift it's like there was just eruption after eruption after eruption and it just made oh my god so uh. much yeah we used to have so much land there was uh, there was less ocean and there, and it just completely like wiped out not just Atlantis, but but it, it it's it's created the Earth as we see it today, okay. um, and so there were so many regions, there were so many areas that were just affected. Millions, I mean, over millions of people died. It was very. Uh, areas that you wouldn't think that would get covered with water got covered with water wow. you know and uh it, it just it just wiped everything out it's so just what like, percent uh, of humans stayed alive 20 percent 10 percent five percent 50 percent more or less i mean survived the explosion you know, this is so funny because like i was brought up a, a baptist and, and so much of this i just was like really come on I'm channeling it right now. And yeah. It's, yeah. It's like, I'm seeing this. And this is like literally the great foot flood like that they've talked about. And yeah, it was right. Honestly, about I was wondering, yeah. Yeah. Uh it was small, a small percent, really. I mean, it was only about 40%, 35%. I mean, a huge percentage of people died. Wow. And, and um so how many humans or humanoids were left to repopulate the planet? How many as a number? Yeah. So I'm seeing about a, a okay. So like a million and two. Oh, okay. Let's get specific. Like it's not a lot. Okay. Yeah. Well, did did the reptilians get wiped out? The no, most. I don't know if I'm getting that number accurate. I just want to put it. I just want to. Say That's that. fine. <laughs> That's not important. Where the were, were yes, the reptilians were wiped out to a point because there were so much interbreeding that yeah. that makes us as humans today have some of us have in different regions 
more reptilian in us than others which i'm not trying to say that there's different regions of the world that are bad i'm not no, i mean there's some good reptilians it's, i'm not, not trying to say that yeah right um, and, and eric's actually bringing up that having ego is not always bad it's a very protective mechanism that the lord gave us yeah. um, so the most evil okay the worst brand the fuller brands, the yeah. most hierarchy brands, um, were the ones that were wiped out. And, uh, and that was God's intent, right? Oh, okay. He's, I have this Marcius here and Eric saying at the same time, God's not intent was not to like hurt people. Yeah. It was actually to heal people, to restart, because he had an option. He could have imploded the, the earth, and then all of his loved beings and children yeah. would then never exist, and we'd be little starlights of earth, and that would be it. Right. It's uh, done this to other planets. There were other planets in our solar system and in other solar systems that he just was like, oh my God, it's funny. Yeah, so no. Um, it was really to give us another chance. It was really yeah. to say like, I am giving you this. I am, I am source. I am, I am the one I am yeah. in control and I love you. And hmm, okay. I'm like feeling like I want to cry right now because oh. <laughs> I'm feeling his energy so much. Yeah. Um, he just really loves us. Yeah. And well, he really, he really, his intention was not um he she it you need to pick a pronoun god no i'm just i am all you're I all am. right right and i am all in love. how and many years approximately did it take for the human race to rise back up to the same level of technology because i'm sure so much technology was wiped out and maybe we haven't gotten to that same tech, uh, level i don't know but you tell that me. same level we haven't i mean we we have different levels in different ways. It's just, he made up, uh, I keep saying he, sorry. Energy, God, he, he, he had a different way of doing it this time. It was like, he wanted us to find our own way. He didn't want ETs to come down and just like lead us and guide us. And, and it's not that ETs were directly related to source energy. Like that's not, they were their own beings, right. you know, they weren't right. in heaven. They weren't fifth dimensional beings and above and archangels. Archangels had a lot to do with when we, uh, when it happened. Mm -hmm. And that was that our archangels came down and they really, uh, did a lot with the people that were left to give us very divine information to help mm -hmm. us re establish. So, I mean, we were going back like way before BC, you know? Yeah. Um, and then this is amazing. Like, this is so cool. So even then, like, these, like when Jesus came down, yeah. this is crazy. So like, it almost happened again. And um, this is stuff that I just like used to argue with my dad about, because I was like, no way you know <laughs> like here i am like hearing it um so yeah it, it almost did happen again and and not because of reptilians but because we weren't listening because we weren't getting it so god and, almost pushed the reset yeah, button again god almost hit the reset button again and um eric's saying it's free will it's free choice and hopefully it doesn't yeah. happen again well, so why, what was happening that made him think about setting the, re uh, pushing the reset button and humans why did he not so, ultimately do it? Because humans were being so controlling of each other. Yeah. They still have, we all have a part of reptilian in us and, um, they were being so massively wanting to be in control of, of, of people, of everything and forgetting that they are that that source energy is in control so it doesn't matter like with the greeks how they had different like beliefs in gods and things right that, that doesn't matter yeah. you know what i mean um 
he says that's okay. You know, it, it, it's more uh, in like all the religions. And actually that's Eric saying that's a part of the reason why there are so many different religions. So that way they can find a place in their own hearts right. and in their own morality and their own faith-based system. Humanity needed faith again. Yeah. And that was the point was that humanity needed faith. They didn't need control from beings that were just wanting to hurt and, 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 and enslave and, and mind enslaved. control, all that. Yeah. Oh, is that why, did, so he said, ah, I'm not going to hit the reset button. I'll send Jesus down instead. Is that what happened? Yeah. Okay. Which is for me really, like I told you, I was a bop, my dad was yeah. training. Baptist minister so like I could never really fully completely I haven't really channeled this yet you yeah, know that's cool and this right, did the explosion cool. wipe out other evolving humanoids a lot of them yes okay is this documented anywhere Eric or Mark Yale, or is this just too far back in time are there any records or any evidence that can be uncovered there's evidence in the landscapes. There's evidence. You mean geological evidence of the but, catastrophe? Uh, Is that what you're talking about? Landscapes. And in, in you can, like, I'm seeing, you know, Google Earth from a distance. And you can see in the landscapes. Um, and then there's other regions that shouldn't have certain animals that do sometimes. Oh, yeah, okay. Um. He just really hit the reset button on everything. I mean, like, he was. Just, did a lot of animals die? I guess so, right? Yeah, animals. I mean, they have different souls than humans, and it it was just a. Didn't get rid of the fire ants or the mosquitoes, though, did they? I mean, I was hoping he wouldn't get rid of the unicorns, but that happened. And that oh. pisses me off. I just really yeah. love unicorns, and I wish they were still here, but they're not. Mm. <laughs> Oh well, we got the narwhal at least. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so so basically you're saying that the 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 evidence is basically in the form of geology. And the evidence is there in faith. Okay. Um, every single every single document for every religion, there is something in there. Yeah. That will talk about this event on whatever way that they find to discuss it. Right. So this is not something, uh, I'm getting huge spirit bumps. This is not something that is a mistake that just in the Christian Bible, you know what I mean? That it's in right. there. It is okay. literally in every single. The religion, Quran. Oh, I, yeah. Every, and the, uh... yeah. There's always this talk of this and that is not by mistake. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the remote sensing that they did indicated that when the scientists were monitoring their computer screens or whatever they had back there and the explosion occurred, some laughed, some were speechless, and some had a spiritual epiphany. Is this true? And were yes. those all killed in the blast? Yes. Okay. Anyone didn't really question? hear your question? I didn't even really hear your question. He was talking and saying yes, yes, yes. And I'm oh, like, okay. I what you're saying oh, but i'm gonna okay. guess <laughs> what kind of computer screens are we talking about like a holographic th thing or and, and what were they monitoring the the earth's um they were monitoring the behavioral patterns and frequencies of the human vibration and where oh, it was oh. going and where it was leading which also led to the decision making about like all Pleiadians leaving, all um, where this was going. But did they see evidence of the coming explosion on their screens? No, they they. It was very clear though for them that there was nothing they could do. So the explosion occurred. I guess since some left, some were speechless, and some had spiritual epiphanies. They, they, death wasn't instantaneous, right? They must have had some time to have th this reaction. It was very much over the course of years and years and years. It was a deterioration of of civilization as they knew it. No, and but I'm talking about after the explosion, 
these guys were monitoring human vibration, et cetera. And they had time to have a reaction of laughing or being speechless or having a spiritual epiphany. So they, they obviously did not get wiped out before they could have those thoughts. Is that correct? They're saying yes and no. Okay. They're being serious about this with me and, and I wish I could control that, but I'm what honest. now? I said, I said, they're being a little bit vague about this because okay. Okay, Thank Eric you. Is saying, yeah. and I have actually an ET coming in, which is for the first time. Oh, for me. oh cool. <laughs> Never had this happen. Uh, okay. So he is, this is crazy. So he's, a, he's a Pleiadian. Okay. Mm -hmm. So all right. So he looks very tall, very, very tall. He's tall white. Okay. He's very well spoken. And he's saying that they still monitor the vibrational frequencies from our brains, mm. uh, from our pineal glands, actually. Wow. And, yeah. And the collective uh, screening and monitoring. Yeah, yeah. Collective screening and monitoring. They've always, they've always collectively, uh, cause they want what's best for us. Yeah. They feel very like protective, like we're like where they're not their pets. That's the wrong word. Right. Like they're <laughs> they just, children. They, they, it, yes, they, they, they want us to be happy. They want us to evolve. They want us to make culture. They're saying they want to come back. They want to be a part of this because they loved being here and integrating their society. Yeah. So what did it look like that the screens that the scientists were monitoring? Can you send Abby an, an image, uh, Mark Hill or the ET or the Pleiadian? for Eric was it a holographic see-through thing or was it a piece of hardware that had oh, the, 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 this uh being um this lady is showing me he's going like this with his hands and it it, it brings up like a screen okay on his wrist and it looks like a crystal that's coming up into his hand right here so it's like oh. a bracelet wow. like and he goes like this and he's showing me, um, he can like screen in to different areas, but he can screen out and he can like change it and he can change it to see the different vibrations of what's oh. happening on the earth. And it comes into him in different color waves oh, and wow. different like wavelength frequencies. So he can see as a whole where we're at energetically um so they can help so they can help so they know where to go to they know where to help okay um he, well the sign just also uh oh go ahead i'm sorry i didn't mean to interrupt no i interrupted he, they are very aware of the political climate mm -hmm. and of the world right now mm -hmm. and um, so so they're very honed in uh to what we're doing and they know when to not have it be the right time to get involved and step and right now it's very dangerous because of the nuclear technology oh yeah yeah they're very 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 ooh, just got huge spare bubs they're very concerned about that this is oh. just the amount of nuclear warheads that we have terrible and what he's saying i'm not trying to scare you all but what could happen and what could yeah. be so they are absolutely um they are absolutely actually they have also this very dive into source energy they did before too yeah but they were not fifth dimensional beings and above okay um but th th they're they're honed in in a way that we're not yeah some, right. of us, some of us are but um they want us to not implode so well so it's got is source considering pushing the reset button again god i hope not um eric Ask him, her, he, he she. Eric's is. not answering that question. Okay, all right. I so, will never answer that question. He says we he cannot. Okay, we cannot know. Thing so him scientists were they also monitoring Earth the Earth activity, like the earthquake and volcano. Our, our scientists are. Our scientists are consistently consistent. No, but back then, were the scientists that that were monitoring their computer screens and the implosion occurred some lap some speechless some had a spiritual uh, epiphany 
were they not only monitoring the human vibration, but they, were they also monitoring the Earth's vibration too? The geological stuff? There was an instance. There was an instance where all of a sudden, it, let's say we're looking at a computer screen, okay? It was like their innate abilities they were born with. Imagine your computer screen just bloop, shutting off. Yeah. Their innate abilities to be able to perceive and receive went, but were 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 they you know, over you know were were they responsible was one of their roles also to monitor the earth i mean the the geological of, activity yes, of the yes, earth yes, okay. a lot of them because these were the engineers these are the projectors yeah. these were the geographers these were the the yes so yes. some monitored on the screen you know, uh the human vibration and some the earth, or maybe they did both at once. I don't know. It's what they they did both at once. Uh, but then they also some of them, like you're generalizing, Eric saying, you can't generalize because okay. they had their own innate things that yeah. they were yeah. Okay. okay. So yeah. All right, makes sense. All right. Is there anybody from that time period that can provide us what was with what it was like? leading up to the explosion and perhaps somebody also to provide us with, with what it was like to survive the explosion those two things leading up and survival i don't like this question because it makes me feel very sad <laughs> okay. They're um, okay they're all fine so what was it like leading up pure chaos uh, a lot of just poverty things were being destroyed mm -hmm. people were controlling uh it was just real real bad real 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 yeah. bad it's, yeah. like um we'll say germany world war ii times five mm -hmm. you know um all over all over and atlanteans themselves because we're talking about atlantis right now right. Uh, was just totally like things ripped down sacred statues sacred, sacred monuments to these uh ets just everything oh. just turned into a giant joke um people were being it's like now people taking down statues they were molested people were being oh god the most awful medieval torture. torture yeah and and it was just really awful how this group of people are that, we talking about reptilians did all this or yeah, were there yeah. other, the, well, other. The, this group of humanoid reptilians that had way more reptilian in them than they should oh, have yeah then yeah. that was an accident they shouldn't have had so much reptilian in them but okay. reptilians came down and they came up with their own breed mm. which was so dark mm. and uh there was just no other way so what happened was it just like I said, these volcanic eruptions and these earthquakes, and then this just blood just, yeah. it just like, and, and the people that were in the higher regions, um, were able to, if they could get to a higher region or they were in a higher region, they were much better off, obviously. Yeah. Uh, and then there were the, this is amazing too. Then there were these people that were the so purely this is amazing so like purely christ like just christ energy yeah like christ energy like that survived it and yeah were protected divinely led is what what oh. eric's saying they were divinely yeah. led and told what to do mm. I, okay so I argued with my dad all the time, like I said, about the Bible and like, I didn't really read it. So <laughs> I was supposed to, it. I was always like, nah, <laughs> Not enough. but, um, like, I kind of wonder if this is like a Noah's Ark kind of thing. Yeah. Right? Like, oh. I kind of wonder, I don't know. Oh, let's just have bits of truth in them. Seriously. Yeah. So what it, were these divine things, these, these protected people, people? There were angels that came down. Okay. That came down and told them what was going to happen 
and what to do and where to be to be prepared months before it happened. Well, were these people that were protected, were they humans? Yes. Okay. And they were guided like, hey, get a rowboat or go yeah. go up that mountain, things like that. Yeah. yeah. They they were told where to go, how to get through it, what to do after, what it was going to be like, and that they were divinely protected and they were going to be okay. So there was a number. It's more, it was more than 10, whatever I said before. It was more than that. I'm sorry okay. if I was off with that number. Yeah, numbers are impossible. It, it was it numbers. much more than like a hundred million or something. It, okay. I, um, but yes, they, they were given instructions. Okay. Some of them didn't follow the instructions. Some of okay. them didn't. And it was because they... It was so unbelievable. Yeah. So un inconceivable. It was blind faith that the people that followed and did. Followed. Yeah. I still freaking wish they would have saved the unicorns. God damn it. Oh, damn it. Mm. So, um, so how do they survive? I mean, it, it seems like animals and vegetation were vastly destroyed. Were they able to? And the the volcanic ash, nothing could grow. How do they survive and Divine. sustain their bodies? They were divinely guided on how they would. Oh, and, okay. they were told, and they were told where to go and where to be and how to be and what to do. And they were told okay. specific locations. So there was, there, there was something to eat there. Then. Yes, they, they were, were guided to, to those they sources. By the divine. They were taken care of by their archangels. Okay. And uh, instructed on how to behave with one another and they were instructed on why it happened were they and, protected because they were good they had that christ energy was it a reward type of protection they were born with christ energy we we're all born with christ energy first yeah. off you're all born with christ energy uh it's a matter of okay so it's a matter of ancestral things like there was like this much reptilian, if any, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? And right. and they were, uh, we all have alien DNA in us. That's interesting. I didn't know that. That's creepy. Okay. That's sort of junk DNA. Uh, long hair will think that's awesome. Especially yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah. So why then they were born or what, is it just like source and the divine beings wanted to protect them because they wanted the population to have a large number of light worker dna yes that's what i figured all right um any other comments from you eric or from any anybody the the pleiadian markiel uh anybody markiel is saying thank you for having me today thank and you for I sharing would, i would like you to know that yeah, he's smiling at you elisa oh thanking you as a light worker yourself and what a divine being and the love and light of God that you are and that it wasn't a mistake for the sense of humanity to be able to incorporate your lessons into others and how giving and kind that is and he's letting you know that yes you are correct we are all okay we're all always going to be okay because okay so so god never wants to do this again he didn't want to do this the first time yeah and and that's why he sent christ was very much so right you, no matter what religion you are and what faith you are i have a lot of friends that are muslims that don't look at you know jesus necessarily as the son of god but it doesn't necessarily matter it's like right. he really did try to prevent that because that was god's promise but god knows that that all these humans that were destroyed there are tendrils that come off of him she it whatever and they're divine beings they're eternal beings they can never perish so it, it, that must have helped him in his decision making marcius is saying um god cried that day oh god cried that day Anybody else want to add anything, Eric? 
Mr. Pleiadian, Ms. Pleiadian. He gets emotional, like God, whatever. He, he, he's done this with other planets before too. And, and it, and it's very tragic, but necessary. And he's, he's knows he's the all knowing he knows, but he loves, he's love. He's in yeah, love. He is love. Yeah. Uh, the Pleiadian is saying that, um, God, this is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> The Pleiadian is saying, um, oh God, he's saying we're here. I know some people are excited to hear that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that they, they are here. They are one to help us. Good. Um, he, they want to be a part of us again. Oh, but there awesome. are others that want to not be a part of us and want to hurt us. So you can come over to my place. I'll set another place at the table for you. Dinner. Is not your place. I'm, like, room. I'm, not, I, I'm not one of those people that's all like, hey, tease. I'm all like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm all, I'm still sitting over here asking Eric, like, why did the unicorns die? I know, really. Well, let's Thank say uh, we, get we over to, it. We, yeah, we need to close, but let's find out why. Why didn't they just leave uh, leave some? Okay, so that's really cool. So he's saying they did have mystical powers and that if they continued on the earthly plane, this is so cool because it's what I always like imagined maybe. Maybe I was channeling yeah. them. But they really did have mystical powers and they would have been destroyed by Oh humanity. God. Okay. For the wrong. So it's best for them to go to another dimension. In their horns, it was in their hooves. Oh. And it was in their blood. So they it, it doesn't he's saying it doesn't matter, Abby. He's saying uh you need to get over it. Because it, it, it it's like if they weren't wiped out, then they would have been used for horrible they would have been slaughtered anyway before we even ever so they probably shifted to another dimension, I hope. Yes, they were multidimensional beings. Okay, so they're, that's good. They didn't all necessarily transition to the afterlife. Lots they, of creatures boom. that were multidimensional beings. And yeah. some of these monkey-like creatures right now that were also multidimensional beings. I'm not mm -hmm. quite sure. I'm not seeing what these monkey-like beings, like cute little monkey beings, cute little yeah. ones, like monkeys, uh, they, they were... I'm trying to figure out what their purpose was and I'm not even sure I'm not getting there. It's okay. Real quick, what was the main mystical power of the unicorn, Eric? And then we need to stop because it's one more minute left. Energy healing um, work. So maybe they like something, their powder in their hooves and something would like oh, okay. mystical being like, this is for real. Like, right. Not even right. They they were very mystical beings and uh they were one of God, you know. Oh, they, yeah. were, oh, they, were, they were one of God's favorite creatures. Oh yeah. And and he took them uh, out because <laughs> you like, do not want them to be tortured. No <laughs> they did the cat food, things uh, like that. Okay. That's great. Parts, please, thanks. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much, Eric Markiel. Uh, Pleiadian and um, and of course Abby y'all check her out description box below be sure you watch all the other prior four parts of this series of, uh, about Atlantis the last two, two being on its ultimate um, destruction and um, yeah share and I also started um, my own YouTube channel it's uh, oh yeah tell us yeah it's check out my YouTube channel. It's so much fun. Me and my friend Sadie. Oh, yes. Was... Awesome. Yeah. Oh and God. I'm sure Paula will put that into the description box too. You guys check that out because it is awesome. It's at Psychic Medium Abby, A B B I E. So subscribe. At, okay. A B B I E. You got it. All right. And also hit the like, like button and the subscribe button and the notification button. And I guess that's all. All right. Love you all. Love you, Eric. Bye. He says, Bye, love you, Bye.